Hello, welcome to episode 8 of our Rogue Tech Career Playthrough. With our primitive start mechs, we've got quite a few in the mech bay, and a lot of our pilots injured. Hopefully we can get them all out before it's time to text our text take our next mission. Which is probably going to be this capture base mission for the Arana Restoration. The uh, problem we have with this other Haskell mission is that it's an ambush convoy and we just don't have the speed and firepower to take out vehicles quickly before they get away. So we're going to wait for our mechs to be readied up. Oh, Alright, so the swords are ready. We now have four. We're going to not worry about the Ostwar for this one because we don't, have to, we don't want to have to wait the uh, time for the financial report. So let's get in here and capture us a base. Hopefully we don't run in, into any terrible turrets this time. Building Confederation isn't going to be too happy with us. Alright, Gale can come out. Uh, Sentinel, Swordsman, Fire Bee. AC2 carrier and heavy hover APC, or a grave digger in the Sentinel. Beach ball is our swordsman. Oh. Try it again. Swordsman pilot. Goggles and Gale are both the Ostwar pilots, right? Pointer. AC2 carrier. Come on. Get in there. Tank is our hover APC and vampire and the fire bee. Alright. Looks like we are kitted out. We're in the lowlands, so we can bring the internal combustion engine vehicles. And let's get deployed. I'm prepared. Are you? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Game can be a little laggy sometimes. Not sure if beefing up the computing power, the RAM, or the video processing power would do much. I've already got a hefty bit of RAM. I think the game's just by default a little slow. With the uh, huge Rogue Tech mod on top of it. I mean, the base game is not, like, sizzling fast. But there's a lot more decisions that the game now has to make when there's larger enemy land sizes, larger maps, more variables with uh, different weapon types and whatnot. We can go to seize control of the Capel base and hold it until we gain a legal claim on the facility. Okay the Aregans have been hired by the local government or not hired they're doing something for the local government to pay them it's an interesting dynamic that they've set up for this mission alright give me the radio message come on A lot of these capture base missions are actually just battle missions with the, uh, I don't know how to put it, with a false capture base place that you have to go at some point. As in, I'm not sure there's much of a difference really. Film facility that we're here to capture should be just a head commander. Before we go to the base, we should get eyes on the enemy, the positioning of their garrison, and ideally the layout of the base itself. Alright. Glad you could grace us with your presence. Lead the way, Mark. Alright, so we've got Major Ashley Griffiths. That was a disturbing image. Full moon out there. Watch out for werewolves. <laughs> 
Alright. Watch out for werewolves. It's full moon. Right, so we can't uh, deploy that right there. Our default deployment zone is here. I think we would rather deploy. Um, can we deploy out here? I'm not sure why it won't let us deploy in some spots, but will in others. Where's this road go? Alright, we'll drop right here in this road. And see what we can see. Alright, right into the action. So they have a technical. Which is just another name for a pickup truck with a gun. What is it already? Alright, so what are we up against here? We've got a locust, a vindicator, got a spider, and a stinger. It'd be nice to get a uh, vindicator, but that might be a primitive model. Alright, and then we've got a Whitworth, a Hornet, that's pre-damaged, this medium laser is not going to work, and a Plainsman, HVT. Alright, so let's get to work. I'm going to sprint up, staying in cover. Let's roll. Highly likely that another enemy um, lands drops at some point. Orders. All in ass. Just gonna sprint up the road. I feel like the fire bee sprint is not much further than Commander. its move. Roger. On the road, I, I'm not sure if the mechs get it. The vehicle should get a speed bonus on the road. I can't remember if the, if the mechs get the same speed bonus. All right, we're gonna scout the base and destroy the force. The compelling force that is. Locust 1 VR, Vindicator 1 RR, new uh, variants that I am not familiar with. Full speed. No target. Uh, Swordsman now can keep up with the rest of the squad since he has the uh, upgraded engine. Our APC is gonna try and get around the flank here. Shoot a couple of these light mechs in the back, do its thing. Keep our evasion up, stay on the other side of little ridges like this till we're ready to engage. What's the plan? You know, one other problem with like this game the higher up camera angles, you can't see the terrain clearly like you can't see from here that this is a little ridge that they can't see over that the vehicles can't see over you have to actually like have the camera get down into a view that shows you alright 19, 8, 2% sprint up to here Still 19. That's 10%. That's 16. But we can get the SRM2s in range. Alright. Open up on the Vindicator. That was a decent hit roll. A lot more. Yeah, thankfully you messed with that PPC. What do you want? 
one percent there. All right, not a good hit chance. We're just gonna close some distance. Oh, my way, Up close. Should have clear view of the capella facility. Keep your eyes peeled for reinforcements. I'm yeah. Still reading enemy contacts, Commander. You need to secure the area before you can proceed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, we know. Get around behind that hill there. No stingers and wasps can be very useful for some uh, recovery missions. Just fill them with. Copy that, Commander. Fill them with jump jets. Zoom them around, avoiding enemies, and then pick up whatever they need to pick up and get out. So you can send up send in one light mech and keep your drone costs low. It's a pretty uh, handy tactic for getting some money. There we go. Uh, getting some money when you're running low on funds if those mission types are available. Alright, got a little, little bit of heat, got some rockets. Huh, that was a pretty good shot. I wonder what his hit chance were. That was a uh, zero out of ten, at least, I believe. some shots at the Vindicator. Hopefully he doesn't decide to turn and shoot at us. Got long range on the machine guns. Bump up our shots. Uh, and he's in cover. Alright. Not much of a shot there, we need a good angle, 24%, we don't want to hit our friend the Hornet, 24%, I think we're just going to, hmm, wait, oh, that's just some weird lines, alright, come up here, Better not shoot our fire bee in the back. Oh, nine damage. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and. F okay, no hits, but we didn't hit our own. <laughs> didn't hit our own max, so I'm kind of happy yes. with that. Uh, let's get in a kick. Single shot from the Ultra AC5. Do we have a higher hit chance from the side? We do. What about, can we get to the back? All right. Moving. Take do this. the spider. Oh, good hit. Oh, we hit. We hit with the auto cannon too. It's good hit a there. miracle. Commander. Down here. It's actually not a terrible hit chance on the spider. Oh, that's a good hit chance. There we go. Just had to get that range band lined up correctly. 
Okay, some significant damage there. Very happy we didn't hit any of our friends. Dang, okay. <laughs> yeah. It went right there, just obliterated this rest of the spider. Some more rounds on his head. All right, let's get it over here. Decent hit chance. Light up the vindicator. Ideally, we can take out. Oh, much better than I thought. We can take them out before they uh, get reinforcements dropped in. He would fire at our sentinel and not at yes, we come in here. We can shoot the locust here in the back, which is exactly what we want this hover APC to be doing. Right, not a lot of shots. Do the rear attack. That, that must be this LRM HVT. That's doing all of that missile damage. LRM 15 and SRM 2, yeah. Maybe it's the Hornet. didn't move, so maybe not. Oh, the, the Howie has got a Howitzer 2000. Okay. So it's pulling around. Yeah, a giant artillery piece. Nice. It's basically a pickup truck with a giant cannon mounted on the back. I wonder how much ammo something like that carries. Be nice to pick one up for some fire support instead of just having what do you the want? um the heavy hover APC. Alright, sixteen percent, twenty-nine percent, sixty-one percent, take it. And we'll miss. Because of course we will. No kidding. Waiting for orders. Right, decent shot. Not a good shot on the locust. He's too far away. We can get some ooh, real good hits in with our LRMs. Okay, we took off his main weapon. That hit something good. Ready for orders. Get in here. And try and finish his vindicator off. Firing a full salvo. Aha, nice. We get him to eject. Get him to eject. Good to go. 
2% chance to hit. What kind of evasion does this guy have? 16%. That's just incorrectly calculating. So we've got the Stinger and the Locust. Not really big threats at this point. The Hover APC is the one under the greatest threat. Uh, we'll not fire our mortars since we're going to be up close. So, oh, yeah, nice 40% on both lasers. And we got a hit with the less damaging one. Because of course we did. clean shot without shooting our guys in the back. Of course. Let's see. I think so. Alright, can we yes, commander. Yeah, a couple good hit. Oh we I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Uh -oh. Our way. oh they dropped right on top. Yes. Right on top of our uh Endo, Kudo, Firestarter, Gladiator. Hmm. All right. Uh, I think we try to. Uh, I don't know about that. have to charge to do that. We're just going to take a nice rear shot with our small laser on the Locust. Guns on target. Oh, nice. That opens up for our hover APC to do its work. Get the Dervish into some cover. 42% on the Gladiator and the Kudo. Large laser arm 10, large laser 2 medium lasers. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit whatever this is. Let's the Centurion model. No. 52 damage. Holy There's a hole in my armor. cannoli. We are in trouble. I think there's some bolt on rockets dropping that damage. Ow. Okay. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. That's a, that's a decently heavy lance that just got dropped in our rear. Two mediums, two lights. Oh, we're gonna lose our AC2 carrier. I'm not gonna have a mech left he like taking hits like needs that. to retreat like crazy. Oh, please tell me it's like the locust or something. Okay, it is. on pins and needles about the uh, the weapon the carrier. If he doesn't get a go before they go, he might just be dead to the commando. Alright, we're we're in some trouble. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, all right, we're gonna try and take out this fire starter because he hit pretty heavy with his rockets. You know, I don't think I got as many hits as uh, the hit chance was sort of indicating I should be getting. Wait, why is the AC carrier in slot 3? He was just in slot 9. Waiting for orders. Right, we can get a good shot on the fire starter here. And our mortar should do some splash damage to the gladiator next to him. I'll get both both uh, laser set. That's probably a first for our swordsman. All right. Uh, How's your... Oh, I thought we... Okay, he does have the rear armor taken out. Going for the locust here. Good to go. Getting some structure damage, yep, even though there's still armor. Okay. We... Can't really get away very good. We want to protect that left side. Uh, do we have abilities? Radic maneuvering. No. All right. Well, let's hope this is enough to get away. Standing by. Eight, forty-two, forty-one. All right, open up on the fire star some more, and not a lot of damage there. Thankfully, they're still targeting our allies and not our vehicles and mechs. Really would like to keep the AC2 carrier alive. Where is he off to? He's like primitive commando, I believe, commando 1A. So he should have like super crap um, weaponry and targeting and whatnot. Light damage, commando. comes the locust, which we are looking through a building model to see. And missed the... Waiting for orders. Yeah. Moving to position. Maybe the fire bee can finish the locust off. Nice rear shot for the inferno oh, rockets. Set off a few uh, internal things like some ammo or something maybe. Ooh. That was a decent hit. Alright, what are you doing? Shooting artillery at our friendly artillery yes. piece? Can we get you from this side? Yeah. Motion, Commander. Take this. And we missed. 
Damn, miss. We're really gonna have to get gravediggers piloting up so we can reliably land those melee hits. Yeah, you see, like, even with these light mechs, how long it... Ooh, nice uh, artillery shot, but you see how long it takes us to take out even one of those. And our friendly just shot us. If we did a ambush convoy mission, we would be so screwed because... We just don't have firepower. Right, let's come over here and shoot the gladiator. Pretty happy with the uh, swordman refit for the mortar over the and the larger engine over the AC-5 and the LRN-5. I think it's ultimately doing more damage as it can now close the distance and use its lasers. Oh, we we'll probably... Okay, he ejected. All right. So we probably shouldn't um, get in that close with our hover APC if we are at risk of setting off we don't hit the sentinel. Firing. Yeah, that's pretty good. Receiving. Mm, 48% on the fire starter. We'll take it. Roger. We will take it. Yeah, we cannot take uh, ambush convoy missions right now. We just don't deal out the damage fast enough. On our flanks. And our mechs can't really get lined up Standing quick by. enough. Mm. All right. We'll leave. Wait, what's... oh, that's just going through. Affirmative. Bring the fire bee over. We'll have a few shots at these guys over here. here it comes. I think Commander's running back in towards us. Oh. Okay, he's got a large laser. That was a surprise. I wouldn't think the 1A would have a large laser. Or at least not a regular one. I would think it would have like the large laser Trono, maybe, that does more heat or has lower accuracy. What is it already? Alright. Come around. Yeah. Give a nice kick in the back. In motion, and commander. shoot him with your small laser. Take this. Oh, we get his leg. Nice. Crippled them, commander. And we hit with the laser. Doing good. All right, pilot is bleeding out. He should eject, maybe. Yeah, there he goes. Smart move on his part. Smart move on his part. Get out of there. I really like that about this mod, that the enemy pilots sort of have a sense of self-preservation often. Oh, they blew up our uh, allies, uh, artillery truck, but I like that they have a sense of self-preservation and will A, run away when heavily damaged sometimes, and B, will eject when they're, you know, at highly risk of dying. 
at least the uh, the newbie pilots will. We can get panicked too, meaning like getting stomped on, shot in the back, all this stuff. And they're just like, nope, not gonna, not gonna take it. All right. Let's see if we can get a nice. Nope, that's one right here. Oh, not quite. That's pretty good. That's not great. We got a really good uh, hit chance on the Kyoto with our lasers. But we did sort of expose ourselves. Oh, uh, oh. I'm surprised the mortar has that level of accuracy this close in. Oh, we should not have exposed our left side to this mech. Alright, let's swing the APC around on the outside. Try and get it around the back to drop some more machine gun fire into some rear armor. Ready for orders. See, abilities. We don't have those. We still don't have enough. Much resolve. 25. We're a little bit short. Oops. Uh, nobody told you to do that. Has trouble with the uh, camera this time around. Right, we want a shot that is not going to put our. This one will do. We don't want to put a risk of friendly firing into the back of our swordsman. Giving them everything I've got. Destroyed the foot. Interesting. The commando might actually start getting our attention if it starts. Ooh. Okay, it hit our ally by missing our dervish. Yeah, the um, commando might start actually getting our attention if it starts doing some damage with its large laser. Let's get the sentinel into the fight. 6%, yeah, not going to be worth it. Whoa. That was some firepower. Can we get in a rear arc? We can for the fire starter and for the Kudo. We're gonna be right up on It's a pretty good chance there. Right in the middle of them all. But we've got Really good evasion. Oh, we can't target the fire starter like that. Interesting. Engaging. No joy. And we missed all of the shots with a 60% chance. I find that a little hard to believe. Since each shot is calculated independently, if you roll five. Standing by. And you miss all five when you should have a 60% chance to hit. Rolling. Something screwy seems to be going on. Alright, we can maybe take out Swarm's Kyoto. Oh, good. Mortar hit. The knockdown. Alright, pilot bleeding out. That's what we like to see. Alright, what 
is how's this shot? Probably just come up and try and finish the Kudo off while avoiding taking fire from any of his friends. So you have here left torso, right torso. Oh, it doesn't show where that energy weapon is. Interesting. All right, we'll go for the other leg though. Maybe we can get him to panic and eject. Reporting. Come on. Nice clear shot. Certainly. Uh, go for the other leg. Yes, Commander. No joy. All mess. That's yeah. We're getting some really unlucky uh, attack rolls. And he was able to get back up. So I guess he's just got like a medium laser or something. Oh, he's got a large laser in the right arm. Oof. Good thing it's accuracy. It's probably heavily affected by all of the damage that we've done. Being knocked down, being injured. 42%. Either we could take the fire starter. I think the fire starter is kind of low threat right now. It's just like a flamer. Uh oh, we hit our own hover APC on accident. I forgot it was right there next to the um, gladiator. Very difficult to see. What do you want? Decent Moving. hit chance here with our AC5. We'll take the shot. Oh, good hit. Good hit. We got the hit with the AC5. And they completely missed our hover APC. I think we've done the most damage to it with that one missile that hit recently. Oof. That Whitworth is no joke on the damage front. I'm gonna have to get me one of those. Alright, let's come around here. We're not gonna fire the mortar because we don't want to hit our vehicle again. And we are almost a hundred percent. We missed the gladiator and hit the fire starter. A great reason to try and line up your shots so that there's enemies behind the one you're targeting is you're almost more likely to stray shot, especially early game, than you are to hit the target you're actually aiming for. Ooh, okay, they've decided to kick us. Time to get over, get out. And he hit with the large laser. All right, yeah, we're gone. Go. All right, we want to location confirmed. Not hit our APC here. We'll go ahead and shoot the gladiator. Initiative five. The gladiator is ignoring it for now. It's taking some armor off our swordsman. Swordsman and a gladiator is a uh, yes, commander. interesting fight. We're gonna bring him around here. We don't really want to get him involved too much because his. He's got four health, yeah. 
He needs to completely stay out of the line of fire. He is down 16. All right, yeah, he's gone. Completely out of here. Both the vehicles are basically out of the fight. We don't want to lose them, and the pilots. Our AC2 carrier is panicking. Interesting. Yes, Commander. On the move. Let's shoot the commander here in the back. Um, we are shooting over our shoulder. Alright, so we're not going to do that. We'll shoot at the fire starter instead. Don't want to risk. Yes. 18. 55%. 44%. Get a better angle. Alright, we'll see what In the motion, actual commander. calculations are once we move. Right, 55, 35, 55. Alright, we'll take the shot of the gladiator. Nice hit. Solid 60 damage. Alright, the Whitworth decides not to shoot. Ow. Armor 90 damage, like you do 60 to me and I do 90 to you. Sounds even. Let's step up, shoot this commando in the back. Hit the primitive engine. Think I hit something good. Maybe. Nine, so we get two units that should be able to go and maybe shoot him in the back before he goes. I'm here. Location confirmed. All right, so no longer have a. Um, oh, oh and he's overheated. So we no longer have a um, vehicle nearby, so we're just going to keep retreating these guys really far away. We don't want them to get shot at all. They are much, much too likely to get killed at this point. What do you want? Uh, sure, we'll punch. In motion, Commander. Hit him with the Take uh, cannon arm and then fire the small laser. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Yes, Commander. I said here. All right. Confirmed. I like our chances. Got it. Solid hits. Solid hits. Waiting for orders. All right. We're gonna focus on this uh, gladiator. Let's try and find an angle where we're not gonna shoot our buddies. One of the problems with getting in close. Grave digger is gonna be digging his own grave if he stays up close too long. Okay, we 
you know, that's a really nice hit chance. In the back, we're not firing the mortar because we'd basically be shooting it on our own head. Sure, why not? Super long range. He doesn't have anything that can fire back, I don't think. And we're doing some damage. Hopefully he doesn't decide to turn his attention to the AC2 carrier and have something that can shoot. Alright, yeah, you just keep keep yourself on the other side of the terrain, way over here, and hope there's not some real late reinforcements to drop on your head. Yes. All right. In motion, Commander. Nice rear shot into Gladiator. How's that? Yep. We'll risk the jam to get two shots off. Not bad. Not bad. Ready for orders. Yeah, we're almost out of LRMs with the Dervish. I copy. Let's go. Okay, did some good rear damage there. And did a good job. Yeah, he's kind of too scared to do anything other than run. His two buddies. Alright, destroyed the engine. And the pilot ejected. The engine was destroyed, so... Probably just brace the uh, hover APC from now on. Hopefully we can put together a yes, Commander. better vehicle soon for tank, because that hover APC, while it's lifting heavier than it has any right to, like damage-wise and uh, harassing the enemy. It's still a really weak vehicle that uh, could get killed at any time. Thirty-five percent, sixty-one percent. You know, we'll take that over thirty-five percent any day, especially since it's their last shot. With our LRMs. Alright, the frost is now inspired. Oh, 78. Do we do the rear attack? I think we do. Fire this one time. Alright. Moving. Let's see what this. we can do. Please don't blow up in my face. I got a beat on him. We destroyed his leg. And we hit with the laser. Alright. He's a in a primitive mech, meaning he probably has a primitive cockpit and cannot eject. Which is that sometimes can like backfire on us as far as like if we're trying to finish a mission quickly. Location. Because it means we have to actually have to destroy the mech in order to finalize the destruction of the lamps. Whereas if in a standard uh, cockpit, they'd be able to eject and we would be 
very happy about it. Right, can we get a nice clean shot with the LRM5? There we go. Position confirmed. Right, we can get a head hit. And... No. Say so damage the pilot the rest of the way and incapacitate him. Brace the APC. He did. That Whitworth did a lot of damage to our mech because we were standing right next to the to the body. All right, come on in here with your SRM twos. Try and get into melee. What do you want? Uh, I want to finish off this uh, <laughs> this fire starter. Moving. That's what I want. Take this. Yeah, we got a snake. Good hit. He's panicked. Can he eject or is he a primitive mech? Oh, he can't eject. Fantastic. All right. We are out of here. Wasn't too bad. Didn't lose anybody. Almost lost both of our vehicles. But ultimately, they survived. So did all of our pilots. I did no injuries this time around, too, I think. Which is a huge plus. Yeah, all right, and we got an extra 100k for destroying the uh, reinforcements, but drop costs 47,000, and we used 23,000. I don't know how I'm going to go over this, but we used 23,000 sea bills worth of ammunition. We have a lot of missiles that we're firing between the Fire Bee, Dervish, and then auto cannon shells from Sentinel, and... Uh, mortar shells now from there oh right and auto cannon shells from the ac2 carrier let's see does it tell us here yeah 30 per shot all right and the flak ammo is probably what 180 per shot dang okay <laughs> okay so it's what six times more expensive ammunition not that it's a huge cost and then the MG ammo is free. And let's see, it's, and let's see the cost per shot. Anyway, that's uh, that's pretty interesting. All right, so we get it's a primitive gladiator. Don't really want the primitive gladiator. What's the one RR battlefield refit? The one R reducing its weaponry to just the PPC and LRM5 launcher be able to fit case protection in a C3 slave unit. Interesting. So it's a PPC carrier with jump jets. Uh, we'll see if there's some more interesting stuff for us to take. A lot of these mechs that we've been facing have that heavy industrial armor. Nothing's really standing out to me. Uh, I'm five Zeus. What does the Zeus do? Can be used with arms for five. I think it can hot load. That's all right. We have no large lasers. We'll go ahead and take one of those. And we'll take... Oh, right. We have the Kyudo. Primitive components. Ah. So it's another primitive mech. 
We'll take a piece of a fire starter and hope we can uh, build a nice one later. Uh, yeah, we don't don't want these primitive sensors, so they'll all just go. Uh, we don't want the internal combustion engine. We'll hold on to everything else for now. It might have been wise to pick up enough pieces of this spider to complete a spider so that we have a rundown mech for so we can take convoy ambush missions. But really, we'd want one that can deal out, say, 100 damage pretty easily because a lot of the vehicles, even in the half skull missions, have pretty decent armor and you don't get the double um, double damage, double melee damage versus vehicles in the rogue tech that you do in um, what's it called? You know what? We're gonna have the Ostwar up at the top and that'll be that. Alright. Thank you for watching. This has been another episode of Rogue Tech. If you think I could do any uh, better with my builds or uh, approach these missions better, leave a comment below. Let me know. Be happy to hear it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.